What up, everyone? Welcome to Dirtbags California. We got new releases on apparel. We have a little treat for you guys, and we have bikes that we have to get out today. You want to stay tuned. Harley could have made a little tiny bevel in here so that this doesn't just slide around. It would have been nice, just like a little cut so it would just sit there. But instead, it just slides off. There you go shoot out and cut your finger because it happens that's your upper rib bushing and that bad boy is worn look at that oh damage these are your lower bolts for the signals if you tighten these when you don't have the plastic you will hit this thing and people will torque it down and if we were doing air ride it wouldn't work this bolt is the big guy at the bottom it's a number 12 so you need an extended 12. there's a, a little crush washer it always gets stuck in here I find so many people, when they do these at home, it looks like it's part of it because you can't get it out. And they just jam up another one and just go for it. And they'll end up having to grind the head of the bolt because then the axle won't go through. And that's the first thing when I see that grinded bolt, I'm like, uh oh, someone has two washers in there. That's why they're here for me to fix it. Bang, see? That little guy. All that for that. And it feels a little extreme sometimes. We've had these things hit the ceiling. Boom, that's it. That's, that's your fork, that's your suspension. So the spring didn't go in. This guy right here is, oh look, it's the right size and... No bueno. Replacing the tubes, guys. We're gonna have to replace the tubes because this shit ain't, ain't going nowhere. So whoever, someone did it wrong, can't use the suspension. We're gonna kind of set this in here. Film on that. Lower seal, upper seal. This metal washer that sits on it, and then your actual fluids. Now, once you have this through, then you put this little guy here. Boom, beautiful. All right, it has a groove inside. It sits in there perfectly, okay? Okay, upper seal goes down. If it's easier to push the top washer and that upper seal in first so that you're not fighting three or four things. Hey. If you're gonna do a job, you might as well do a good job, okay? And that's it. Now we unscrew, fill it with the fluid it tells you and the amount, and we are ready to roll. Anytime you do handlebars, I don't care what size, replace your bushings, your riser bushings. You just got OEM ones for trash. And it's not even much. I think they're like 50 bucks. Just change it, okay? All right, just change them because his crashed into his tank because they were too wobbly. Look at these, these are tall as heck. You got a ton of leverage. These things are all over the place. They should have realized it when they put these on here. So we got here a 22 Road Glide. We just did a couple of things. Right now what I'm doing is just going over everything, make sure that we got everything down on the checklist. We ended up going with two over forks, um, some riser bushings. Uh, we ended up going with these smoked, these smoked latches right here, just kind of give it that cleaner look. Powder coat a couple of things that were a little scratched just to make the bike look a little bit better. He did have a leak on his rocker top, so we just replaced the top and the lower rocker gasket and as well as the, the breathers. He was having a bunch of oil that was like getting trapped and it was just shooting it out so it was just making a mess everywhere. Did get this fender here too which is pretty neat. Nice little short fender. Got, had a color match it. Uh, we added these fork cans just to give it a little bit more of a sportier look. Yeah, I just gotta look over it one more time, go test ride it, make sure it's safe for the customer come back wipe it down make sure it's nice and clean so whenever he comes back he can take it away nice and wipe down the, that's a solid one um, well you, you can never go wrong with McDonald's these things don't go bad okay I don't know if you want they to don't go bad I've seen the thing with the apples that don't go bad so um it could either be the bacon McDouble a muck double or or I think there's my only options 
Oh, double cheeseburger. Okay. Um, it still looks like it could be any of them. To be fair, it tastes like McDonald's. Um. Man, I know you're gonna love these. These are it right here, the melons, guys. These are going down. He came with the goodies, guys. So I figured that you guys work late, so you guys can grill your own. <laughs> You guys can grill your own oh, Korean yeah. barbecue. That's what's up. Right? Hell yeah. I know you like to cook, brother. Thank you, brother, man. I yeah. appreciate it, yep, brother. Yep. Huge, man, giant mango guy, but I still think the melon takes it. The melon, the melon is the one. This is amazing, but the melon is the one. We get this call a lot, all right? They say, hey guys, I got this big ass touring motorcycle and it's super heavy. It's hard to reach the floor. So don't be ashamed to call me when you're having some tippy toe problems, okay? The bike's eight, 900 pounds and it's not safe anyways. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting a one inch lowering suspension and then the rear end, we're gonna be doing an air ride suspension or a shorter spring. We're not gonna be doing lowering blocks. I apologize for your inconvenience, but we don't do that, all right? So either a lowering spring or air ride. That's gonna bring the bike down about two inches. That's huge, all right? You're gonna be from tippy toe to, you know, almost planet. And then after that, we're gonna narrow down your seat and then get your legs more tighter to the bike. Pretty much be almost flat footed, all right? Look how low he's sitting. It's super low to the floor. Air is all the way down, but you're gonna be able to back yourself out of your driveway, reverse it out, however you gotta get out of your little parking spot. Really safe and secure, especially with a passenger in the back. And then you air it up a little bit, get to you know the tippy toes, get a nice ride, and then ride away with comfort. So, that's how you do it. All right, super low, huh? What up, y'all? We are blessed to be back uh, with another week of dirt bags. As you can see, we are fully booked. We got a lot of work, but that don't stop us. We're just gonna keep pushing through it. Uh, this week, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Marty at Napa in La Mirada. Uh, I went over there to get some parts for my mom's car. Uh, I was doing a little work for her car uh, after Thanksgiving. He recognized me. He said that him and his wife watched the YouTube, and they were avid watchers, and they and they really enjoyed the show. So I want to thank them, and I want to thank everybody for the love and support that we've been getting lately. Um, orders are up. We're out of stock again of uh, center stands, but I'm gonna get back in here and get back to work. On that, NECA, he's swamped. Thank you guys for that. Uh, you know, we just we just want to say thank you guys for everybody, everything, and uh, we appreciate it. Stay tuned. See what we got in store for you guys. All right. So this week, I didn't really have a tech tip for you, but I did want to see what you guys want to learn, what you guys want to see me teach you guys. I did think about maybe uh, showing you guys how to ride, like. If you guys are just watching the show, if you guys are already learning how to ride yourself or you want to buy a bike, uh, I can teach you some of the like most basic uh, things you, you would learn while learning how to ride. But other than that, that'll be it. Yes, I have red shoes on. You know why? I match my new shirt. Look at this. Amazingness is happening right here, guys. All right, let's go. Take off the jacket. Oh, in the holidays. Dirt bags is coming for that ass. So we had an Xmas tree. It is dropped, guys. It is looking hot. Make sure you guys get yours. These are limited run only. Till next year, we're gonna have a different one. So if you want this one, it's only gonna be available for a couple weeks. We're only running a few of them, so. Tap in, get yours. It does not come with the red shoes, okay, guys? Just wore it to match the outfit, okay? Stand out, and I'm standing out all day long. I knew Eddie wasn't gonna like them, so I did it on purpose. All right. We have a long day, we have to get bikes out, and we had to do a bunch of stops. So let's go. 
We're at the gas station, guys. You know, all those other states that are watching. Damn, 529 right here for a gallon. It's ridiculous. The gas station that always crack in when seeing our new friend help the guy with the car uh, get his keys. That gas station is closed. I knew something was gonna happen with that gas station when we had to go over there. Completely closed down. It is what it is. Don't move to California, guys. So it's gonna be fun, guys. It's, it's really expensive. I feel like we should just be setting up in Texas. Over there on that side of town. Where we get all that love too. Y'all are always showing love. We need to set up over there. To the next one all right so mission complete with the bars that bike's gonna be complete today and we're gonna go and take the 21 for the single size swing arm to get polished i had to go to a special polisher because this wheel is so the deep sign, and the holes right that they have to go in between it and the polish it is gonna be a pain in the ass so i don't want to do it I'm taking it to this guy to knock it out for us we gotta outsource it. Setting up off if possible. I know if it's too much where it's not gonna be consistent enough, then don't. Yeah, all right. But if you can pull it down as much as you can where it'll be consistent to the wheel. All right, cool. What happened to your gun? Did they take it from you? I know they took the gun. They hid it from you, didn't they? I'll talk with mommy and try to get your gun back, okay? But you know, the busted lip had nothing to do with the gun, okay? That was his pure coincidence when he was playing that he busted his mouth, had nothing to do with the gun, right? Yay! <laughs> guys are amazing here man and oh man i love the bike caught how they hooked it up man awesome job mikey and the crew man oh it never disappointed me man anything i needed to get done i'm planning on taking my road glide pretty soon get that all hooked up i got my brother following my steps too so we're, we're in the bike scene thank you mike merry christmas and happy holidays man to all your whole team Sasa siendo gordito. What up, everyone? I have something cool to show you guys, all right? Are you ready? Oh, damn. 2024 calendar coming to a hood near you. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. We gotta keep it old school. Perfect for the man cave, the garage. Be the man in the house, obviously. Inside the bedroom. <laughs> Make sure you guys tap in. I'm making these available for pre-order, all right? Um, our goal is to have them out before Christmas, so make sure you grab yours now. Uh, we're only doing 100 of them, so make sure. Tap in, grab it, get it. Yo, what up, everyone? So check it. Euro MG was actually the booth right next to us at SEMA. So we were able to chop up with them and we hooked up with Sean. Sean, he came through. He came through with some HVLP 2200 series. So this is the main gun that we usually hear at the shop for base, clear. We use a 1.3 because, you know, we're not really using big, big panels. Um, so we're usually spraying, you know, tanks, fenders, bags. So Sean, thank you. Go ahead and give him a follow at Instagram. It's called Euro Spray Guns. Go ahead, tell him that 
Dirtbag sent you and they'll go ahead and hook you up with something. So go ahead and give them a follow. Come on guys, we're gonna do a detail. Don't miss the details, right? I mean, it's called a detail. It's not called the obvious. We're not dealing with the obvious here. Gosh, just can't win sometimes with these detailers. You already know carbon fiber. It's gonna match everything else that's carbon fiber. It's gonna be live, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be lit. Quality parts from quality companies. What up, y'all? As you can see, Sonic is back in the shop. Just busted down the back rim real quick, back wheel. Turns out that the rim is cracked. I did hit a couple of bumps. There is a bump. If you guys know, 91 freeway, the conjunction from the five to the 91, be careful, because there is a big bump there. Um, I'm not saying that was the one, but the rim is, is, is done ski. She's a work in progress while she's here. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, a couple of wiring issues, a couple of paint issues. I did just get brand new tires. The Commander 3s, uh, the Michelin Commander 3s, I have to say, beautiful. Um, took away my speed wobble. High speed wobble at around 115 is where it would get really kind of shaky. That's gone. So I was super excited, but now the, the rim was losing air. Thought it was the valve stem, changed the valve stem, kind of chased it a little bit. Now uh, figured out that the rim is cracked, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. So stay tuned, I'm trying to get Mikey back into the rhythm. Hopefully we can get maybe uh, a quick rundown of everything that was done to the bike. If you guys do want to see that, just drop it on the comments. Um, it is a 124, it was originally a 107. If you guys want to see that for the upcoming shows, let us know, drop it in the, in the comments. Uh, maybe we can convince Mikey to do a, a quick all around, you know, performance bagger review uh, on Sonic. Big boy, you want some power? I heard, I, I did watch your uh, YouTube. I seen that you are uh, 280 pounds. You lost a little weight. You need some torque. You need, you need some power. You need, some, you need to get that thing up, uh, up and going. So uh, let's get that 117 boosted up. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. As promised, guys, a giveaway, all right? So this is how we're gonna do it. 177 comments. So we sort by right there. We go to newest comments. That's gonna just organize everybody from the first comment, you know, to the last comment. And that's the last one was an hour ago. Number generator, right there. 177, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta stop it, you gotta oh, stop it, you gotta stop it, yeah. 176. <laughs> <laughs> we have Hello Mr. Wall. Uh, he put great stuff, fire emoji. That is our winner. We wanna say thank you to everybody. We definitely appreciate everybody's support. We're getting major orders for everything. Uh, we're in the Christmas spirit. Man. We should continue this giveaway stuff. We just wanna say, you know what? Let's just do this, let's just do this. We, we got what, like three weeks till Christmas? Let's just give away a kickstand for every week leading into Christmas. Damn, yeah. David, can you, can you consult with me first? That's like. I guess we're doing it, guys. Do it. Every week going forward, kickstand giveaway till Christmas, and I want to give some gear away too. Yeah, shirts is not so, enough. I say we, you know, we're just gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it rolling. Uh, so every week we're gonna give away a kickstand with. Yeah, we'll give Christmas gear away. So two people are gonna win next week. Yeah. So we'll pull in two numbers. You guys see how it's done? The amount of numbers that go into a number generator, and then we'll randomly pick somebody. It picks it. So. Good luck to everybody and happy holidays and make sure you guys are participating. All right guys, as promised, the badges and the new seat, the bike looks way better. That was the cherry on top. Did the gray and then the darker gray stitching, the diamonds to match the floorboards. And the shifter looks great, nice tie-in. We're waiting on some spacers. The original spacers that I had, I didn't like them. So we got new ones. Those are in, I have to slap those together and I would put them on right now and go riding and show you guys this bike, but it's dark outside because it's eight o'clock at night and it's Wednesday. And you, we got to wrap up this video because you guys are gonna see it tomorrow. As promised guys, I'm going to record his reaction when he comes in. Our goal is to make him cry. It um, looks better than I thought it would. And that's always a plus in my book. So, on to the next one. All right, guys. Again, fresh reminder. Giving stuff away every single week this month, all right? All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment. It's super easy. Apparel, kickstands, all month long. And like I said, throughout this whole year, we're gonna bring the heat. And we have a couple more weeks and we're not going to stop now. 
I challenge you to finish off this year strong, all right? Push, push, push for everything you guys want to do and start getting those goals ready, guys. Start thinking about it because I already know what I need to do and we're going to continue this, all right? And push harder and we're not stopping, we're not slowing down. I appreciate all the love and support. As promised, we're going to continue to bring the heat all year long.